we're being asked to integrate e to the 4x times the cosine of 3x. In this problem, we're going to use integration by parts. This is like a classic integration by parts problem. Um, so we get to pick whatever we want to be our u. We can either pick the e or we can pick the trig function. I personally find it easier to differentiate trig functions than integrate them. So I'm going to set u equal to the cosine of 3x. And that means that dv is forced to be e to the 4x dx. Then computing du, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then via the chain rule, we're also going to get a 3 on the outside. So this is going to be negative 3 sine 3x dx. And then when you integrate e to the 4x, all you do is divide by the 4. So this is e to the 4x divided by 4. All right, now let's use the formula. So I'm going to call this i. So i is equal to, and there's a reason for this, you'll see later, uh, this is uv, so it's going to be 1 fourth e to the 4x, that's v, and then we have u here, so cosine of 3x minus the integral of v du. So I said minus, but we already have a minus, so it's going to be plus, and looks like we have a 3 and then we have a 4 on the bottom. So 3 over 4, e to the 4x, sine of 3x, dx. Now I intentionally left the 3 fourths inside. right? You can pull it out, but I find that in these types of problems, if you leave it in in the first step, it just makes it much cleaner. Okay, now what we do is we use integration by parts again. Now. Something worth mentioning is we let u be our trig function at the beginning, so we got to do it again. Otherwise, we go in an endless psychotic loop. So this is, uh, if you try it, you'll see what I mean. You end up with something that doesn't work. So u is sine 3x, and dv is equal to 3 fourths e to the 4x dx. So du, let's see, the derivative of sine is cosine, but we have to use the chain rule. So the derivative of 3x is 3. So I'm going to put the 3 out front to keep it clean, and this is the cosine of 3x dx. And then v, again, we divide by 4 here, and so 4 times 4 is 16, so we get 3 over 16, e to the 4x. All right, now let's carefully write everything down again, starting with the i, all of it. Structure is really, really important in these problems. So i, it's a crooked i, is equal to, writing this down again, we have 1 fourth e to the 4x cosine of 3x. And now we have the plus sign, so plus. And let's use the formula for integration by parts. It's uv minus the integral of v du. So in this case, it's 3 over 16 e to the 4x sine of 3x minus the integral of v du. This time I'm going to pull the numbers out. So 3 times 3 is 9. So we have minus 9 over 16. And then we have the integral of e to the 4x cosine of 3x dx. And this is where the magic happens. This is the original question, right? So this is our i, right? This is what we started with. So I'm going to write it one more time. So we get i equals 1 fourth e to the 4x cosine 3x. Then we have the plus 3 over 16 e to the 4x sine 3x minus 9 over 16 i. Now what we'll do is we'll add 9 over 16 to both sides. So we're going to add 9 over 16 i rather. And then here we're going to add 9 over 16 i. These cancel. You want to think of this as 16 over 16 i. So when you add these, 16 plus 9 is 25. So we get 25 over 16 i equals all the stuff over here. I'll go ahead and write it down again. So 1 fourth 
e to the 4x, you got to be really careful here. Cosine of 3x plus, and then we have 3 over 16, e to the 4x, sine of 3x. What a mess. To solve for i, which is what we're trying to solve for, it's our original integral, we're going to multiply both sides carefully by the reciprocal. I'm going to do it like this. 16 over 25, so these cancel. I'm going to squeeze it in here, 16 over 25. And then I'm going to squeeze it in there, it's so tiny, 16 over 25. Beautiful. So i is equal to, let's see, 4 goes into 16 four times. So, ooh, I lost my x there. <laughs> so this is 4, so easy to mess up. 4 over 25. Then we get e to the 4x cosine of 3x. And then here the 16s cancel, so we get plus 3 over 25 e to the 4x. And then we have the sine 3x. And we're not done. It'd be a horrible way to get this wrong. Let's not forget the plus c. And so that is the final answer. Wow, that was long. So these problems are uh, long, but you always start the same way. Let me show you. Let me go back up. So originally you pick something to be your u. So I picked the trig function. It's really important that if you pick the trig function to start, you got to pick it in the second step as well. If I would have picked e to start, then you got to pick your e over here as well. So you want to stick with what you pick. If you pick a trig function, continue to let u be your trig function. If you set u to be your exponential function, continue to let u be your exponential function. So I hope that made sense.